Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview. Book of Ezekiel, Chapter 29. Let's get started now. Certainly, I can provide you with a detailed explanation and application of the teachings found in the book of Ezekiel, Chapter 29. Chapter 29 of the book of Ezekiel continues the prophetic messages and visions that the prophet receives from God. In this chapter, God speaks to Ezekiel about the nation of Egypt and its ruler, Pharaoh. God begins by telling Ezekiel that he will punish Egypt for its pride and arrogance, and for its role in opposing God's plans for Israel. God says, I am against you, Pharaoh king of Egypt, the great monster lying among his streams. You say, the Nile belongs to me, I made it for myself. But I will put hooks in your jaws and make the fish of your streams stick to your scales. I will pull you out from among your streams, with all the fish sticking to your scales. Ezekiel 29 verses 3 to 4 God goes on to describe how Egypt will be brought low, with its cities laid waste and its people scattered. He says that Egypt will become a desolation and a reproach among the nations. However, God also promises to restore Egypt and its people, saying, At the end of forty years I will gather the Egyptians from the nations where they were scattered. I will bring them back from captivity and return them to Upper Egypt, the land of their ancestry. There they will be a lowly kingdom. Ezekiel 29 verses 13 to 14 So what can we learn from the story of Egypt and Pharaoh in Ezekiel 29? There are several lessons and applications that we can draw from this chapter. Pride and arrogance lead to destruction. God tells Pharaoh that his pride and arrogance have led him to believe that he is in control of the Nile and the land of Egypt. However, God reminds him that he is the true ruler of the universe, and that Pharaoh's power is limited. We should be careful not to fall into the trap of pride and arrogance, as these attitudes can lead to our own destruction. God is in control of history. Through the prophetic message to Ezekiel, God demonstrates that he is in control of history and that he has a plan for the nations of the world. Even when nations oppose God's plans, as Egypt did, he remains sovereign and will bring about his purposes in his own time and way. God's judgments are just. God warns Egypt that it will face his judgment for its sins, including its oppression of Israel. However, God also promises to restore Egypt and its people after they have been humbled and punished. This is a reminder that God's judgments are always just and that He is merciful and compassionate to those who repent and turn to Him. God's promises are sure. God promises to restore Egypt and its people after they have suffered for their sins. This promise is fulfilled in part when the Persian king Cyrus conquers Egypt in 525 BC and allows the Jews to return from captivity. This is a reminder that God's promises are sure, and that he will bring about his plans in his own time and way. In conclusion, the story of Egypt and Pharaoh in Ezekiel 29 provides us with important teachings and applications that are relevant to our lives today. We can learn from Egypt's sins and mistakes and strive to avoid falling into the trap of pride and arrogance. We can also trust in God's sovereignty and his plans for the nations of the world, knowing that his judgments are just and his promises are sure. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.